From our In Your Corner team tonight, she was in desperate need of a plumber. But a Spencer woman says her contractor didn't do the work and now won't give her a refund. Adam Snyder goes in her corner. It was very stressful. Paula Mason's parents had fallen on tough times. Her 93-year-old father suffers from dementia. In the spring of 2020, her now deceased mother was homebound in need of hospice when their plumbing started backing up. We just thought it was a blockage or something. And so we found out that it was um, busted line, broken line. The problem persisted for months with temporary fixes along the way. But come fall, the flooding reached a breaking point. And when we got up, water was all the way almost to the door. And it was about maybe two inches deep. The carpet was already soaked. She contacted Steve Maxson, having used his services months before. He looked at my water heater, and then while he was here, I asked him if he would come across the street to look at my, my parents' house. Operating under the name Maxson Plumbing, he accepted $3,100 down from insurance, but the work soon stalled. And he explained to me at first that he was very busy, and I understood that. He was supposed to come back in a matter of days because he had started getting worse. He never came back. With the problem worsening and her parents stuck inside, Paula needed immediate assistance, opting to hire another plumber who got right to work while requesting a refund from Maxson, who initially agreed. He kept saying he had to get it from the vendor, but he's not, I didn't get any reply from him, any solid reply from him. He just had to get the go to his vendors and get the money back. But that was in early November. Paula tells our team she hasn't heard from Steve since and attempts to take him to court failed as well. It was very stressful. Our attempts at reaching Steve took an unexpected turn. Steve Maxson is the son of Stephen Maxson from Afton, a former plumber himself with a business by the name Maxson and Sons, who knew nothing of Paula's situation. That is not this company. Okay. If he did that, he got a I would be in a lot of trouble. Oh, he's going to give her a refund or he's going to go to jail. I don't care if he's contracting without a license. Steve Sr. helped our team get in touch with Son. Steve Jr. claimed Paula was too quick to cancel his job, but that a refund would soon follow. They were in a, a fairly serious situation that they needed plumbing work done immediately, and she decided that it wasn't moving quick enough, so she moved on past that. But that aside, is there an update on the refund by chance? Yeah, I'll get it set up with her. Paula needs that refund but hopes she doesn't need it anytime soon. And that was money that we were setting aside for his burial. And hopes others learn from her story. Do your due diligence. Definitely do your due diligence. Now, Steve Maxson told our team he would be reaching out to Paula, but so far, no phone call. And he's now ignoring our texts and phone calls as well. We've also learned that he has not properly licensed with the state and claims he was going to be contracting this work out. A reminder that before you hire on a contractor, make sure to go beyond reviews and check for proper state licensing and certifications. I'm Adam Snyder, in your corner.